गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू आवर स्पेस रिमोट सेंसिंग एंड जी आई एस चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी सिंपल एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज बेसिकली द टोपोशीट रजिस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस ओके सो मेनी ऑफ मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री पीपल आर आस्किंग मी हाउ विल गोइंग टू डू द रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ अ टोपोशीट्स ओके सो दैट्स वाई दिस पर्टिकुलर uh <clears throat> video i'm just going to show you here okay so if you see here this is my <coughs> this is my arcgis pro which i'm just going to open it here and now i am just going to start how we will going to do the registration process so before starting the registration process okay so very first things which you have to do it here that is basically you have to fix a corner system for this particular uh, purpose here okay so i am just going to do it here just same like this okay if you see here in the map for okay so i am just going to the map properties okay so under this coordinate system okay so if i want i can fix this coordinate systems in a geographic coordinate systems okay so for this case suppose i am just selecting the world and i am just selecting wgs 1984 okay so this is the geographic coordinate systems i will fix for this particular map system now i am just going to add that particular topo sheets which i want to register so for me uh, here i have one topo sheets of uh, bihar uh, okay so part of a bihar in india so that maps i am going to register over here okay so that is one is to 250 lakh scale map okay which is freely available so that i am just download and i will just trying to register this particular map so uh, my map is there under this okay if you see this 72 gb so that is the map i am just trying to open it here okay if you see here once i will try to add this map i am not able to see and if you see unknown coordinate systems as of now my maps has no coordinate system even you can check right click go to the property and check the uh, source so if you see here under the a uh, uh, special reference if you see unknown coordinate system is it will going to show you so now uh, how we'll going to see this map so simply right click on this go to zoom to layer so you can see the part of this uh, the world maps which will be there as a base map so it will come in the corner of this particular topo sheets now the next important thing is how we'll going to register this map so to do this registration process okay so you have to select this map okay so from here and under if you see uh, this imagery okay so you have this particular tool which is called as a geo reference tool it is a sense means uh, it's a means tool specific means this tool once i will click so new layer uh, means new window will come up you just see here if i click on the geo reference so see geo reference tool will activated here so this is a since uh, means tool specifics when uh, image specific okay so once i select the particular image layer and click on the geo referencing so that time it will be going to visualize as a separate tool layer here okay so now the next important thing is how we'll going to take a control point so control points as i will know so uh, the points which we know the coordinates so as we know that uh, topo sheets we have four corner coordinates okay so i am just simply zoom in the first corner coordinates so i can see this is the first corner coordinates and i will just take a at control points over here okay so this is the first point which i'm going to take it here so where these two lines are joined so you just simply you just not zoom so much so that the pixels will break out and you will not uh, zoom out so much so that you will not able to see this plus point so it, it is on your uh, estimations you can zoom this much okay and you can simply select that particular locations and then simply right click on this and you just see here here we need to add the informations what informations i'm going to add so simply i will add this informations like 72 so first information is it is 86.00 and this one is 26.00 okay so simply click on okay so the first point you can take properly okay so if you see here always you just do right click and zoom to layer so that you can able to see the total map okay so first point you can take in properly now we will go back to the second points so these points you have to take little bit of estimation 
okay not uh, zoom so much okay so this is the perfect okay and then you can take the second points just see here uh, this is the 87.0 <coughs> and 26.00 so no problem i will go to the geo reference i will take that control points where these two lines are joined so i will take this point just like this so i will click on that and then simply i will type the same value 87.00 and 26.00 so the magic is once i click ok so my map automatically will go and sit over the locations where it is belonging from over the base map so that is the advantage in arcgis pro which you will get it here just see here if I click on OK, I will right click, I will click zoom to layer and see my map will sit exactly with the locations. Okay, uh, see this is the Ganga river and how this Ganga river is actually matching with this. Okay, so that's the wonderful thing in ArcGIS Pro which we will not getting in ArcGIS Desktop. ArcGIS Desktop we have to finish the total registration process and then we will try to overlay our base maps okay over that okay so otherwise uh, it will be very even the base maps also uh, if you zoom and zoom out that will be very slow in art map which will be very fast over here okay now i will going to take the another two points so that i will finish my geo referencing process okay so there is the another point which i'm just going to take so this is also c this is a one way of the validation process means once you will take the two point correctly your third point should come nearby of this value if it is coming nearby of this value means your your way of the georeferencing is going right but here if it is coming so much varied that means it it you have to check your first two points which you are taking I mean, suppose here in case of 87 it is coming and 52 or 45 or something so then definitely you have to check the first two points which you are taking so as of now it is coming perfectly so but i am just going to take exactly the value whatever it is written it here so i am just typing 87.00 and this is also i change it as a 25.00 okay simply click on okay so now my third point is also taken properly so <coughs> right click zoom to layer and now i am just going to take the fourth point which will be the last point of the georeferencing process okay so if you see here i have this last point over this location so simply right click on this you can go here and you can give the same value like 86.00 and 25.00 so validations is actually a very important thing so over here okay so that basically okay so if you see now it is came properly the point and if you see here so now my four points are taken properly but in case if you want to see that control table points so you can able to see from this and if you want to delete anyone you can select it and you can able to delete from here also so once i select it this delete will be activated like see here so if you find any any <coughs> tools which have some problem so then you can remove that particular points from here okay so that is the uh, exact process of how we are actually going to use this particular georeferencing process okay now my four points are ready okay so uh, if i go here so now my four points are ready so if you <coughs> want to see the georeferencing and then uh, the point table so as i told you so from here you can able to see your all the points okay so that is how we are actually going to work with this okay that is how we are going to work with this uh, with different types of values now simply you can click on the save okay so these are two options <coughs> either save and save new so that differences in arcgis it is asking you rectify so rectify is your save new means you are to create a new copy and if you want to save this map only then simply click on save so all the points which you are created so those are actually going to save so now once you now georeferencing will done so you can right click on this go to the properties okay and you can check the special reference now you see it is going to show you wgs 984 okay so that your map is registered 
now if you want to remove this all points then simply close this georeferencing toolbar that's all okay so your map is registered properly and it is set exactly with the locations where it is actually belonging from but obviously the the zooming and swiping things you should mention uh, and maintain the the that particular scale this is 250 lakh scale so i should not go zoom so much and i will not trying to swipe in okay so so swiping you have this rust over the raster layer you have a different tool like transparency tools will be there okay so you can take the transparency tool and you can see how nicely it was matched with that particular location okay so there is even if you know like here base maps if you want to change the base maps and try to open the image hybrid so if you see the locational informations will come over this topo sheets so each and every location you just see here is a munger city okay so if you just zoom little bit over the munger city and if you want to switch off this see it should match with the base location so this is the munger city over here okay but if you if i if i zoom out and see the topo sheet okay so if i if you switch off this <coughs> and if you go uh, in the map or you can say uh, suppose i'm just going to select here and i will make it as a full okay so that is i will increase the transparency blink so not 100 percent zero hundred percent okay so if you see here it is also there is a munger city in the top oceans so this is a way means how nicely uh, you can say it will match exactly with the locations once you use the hybrid one okay so hybrid will very good thing over your uh, this particular topo sheets and how nicely it will match over this particular location okay so uh, that is actually the process of how we are actually going to uh, do the georeferencing thing over a map so i hope this is a interesting for many people who are asking these questions how to do the georeferencing in arcgis pro so i will request everyone please follow this video and please share these things to the others okay so if you have any query please let me know in this comment box so that i will try to solve your problems as i am doing so we are now almost uh, cross more than 50 um videos with a different topics and that's i am really feeling great and thankful to you all because all of your problems we will try to solve you in this channel and uh, i i know a lot of questions which coming which i'm still searching learning and i will definitely come with the answers but as of now 50 contents for me it is a really great thing for as of now for my journey and thank you please do support like this for the futures please share my videos and subscribe my channels and please tell others to subscribe these channels thank you thank you all please thank you yes continue your journey uh, with our channel thank you